All right, fine, let's talk about it. Choosing your path going to nurse practitioner school, do you choose the master's route or do you choose the DMP route? And if you have a choice, which one should you do? I have a unique perspective on this because I had the opportunity to stop what I was doing and to finish out my NP schooling as a DMP student. Let me rewind. I have been a nurse practitioner for now. This is year eight. I'm a master's prepared nurse practitioner. I've been a nurse for 15 years. Started my nursing career as a diploma nurse and have slowly been stepwising up the ladder over the past 15 years. When I decided to go back for my nurse practitioner, there wasn't a DNP program available to me, and I also thought that I wanted to get in, get out, and get working, just like the time when I decided to become a nurse. I did not want to spend any more time in school than I had to. It was a lifestyle decision. It wasn't, it wasn't so much that I didn't want to, although I can say that I didn't have an interest in it. I also didn't under, I didn't feel at the time that I would need my DNP because I had no interest in working in education. I had no interest in working in management or in leadership. So I felt that I was gonna be boots on the ground, a clinician at the bedside, and the little bit that I knew was that a master's and a doctorate level prepared nurse practitioner functioned the same at the bedside and that's where I was gonna live my life. When I was a year or two into my nurse practitioner program, they were transitioning to the doctorate program. The master's, le the master's program was disappearing and you had the option to kind of put your schooling on pause, you would actually back roll probably about a year. So in, instead of it being a two year program, it was gonna be a three and a half year program. And I had already been in school enough. I didn't have the time nor the motivation and I also didn't have the money. It wasn't part of my original plan, it wasn't part of my family's plan. So it wasn't really an option for me. And weighing the risks, the benefits, and the needs, it didn't seem like the right thing for me. So I moved on, graduated, and had, once again, fast forward eight years, here I am. About a year ago, I decided that I'm going to move into the educational world. I wanted to be an educator. I don't know what that'll look like yet, but I wanted to teach nurse practitioner students in the classroom. I've been teaching it at the bedside ever since I became a nurse practitioner. I have mentored, precepted, and taught countless students. I mean, in the eight year, I mean, if I had to put a number on it, we're talking like 50-ish, I don't know. But I love doing it, and everyone that knows me or has worked with me knows how much I love to teach. And I hope, hope I'm halfway good at it. Yeah, I hope so too. So the original question is, if you have a choice when you set out on the journey for being a nurse practitioner, would you recommend master's or doctorate? And here I am eight years later, going back to get my doctorate. It's, take, it's going to take me two years because I'm doing it part, part time, working full time, and I'm paying it out of pocket. If I had to do it all over again, would I have chosen to go right to my doctorate level and skip the masters? And I, I don't know the answer to that because then I wouldn't be in the position I'm in. I wouldn't have experienced what I've experienced. I wouldn't have seen what I've seen, done what I've done, been where I've been. Because I'm pretty sure the job that I got when I graduated way back then probably wouldn't have been there. Or maybe it wouldn't have had the face that it had or the environment and the layout that it had because those first two years as a nurse practitioner taught me a lot, a lot. And had I stayed and finished and gotten my doctorate at that time, I would have missed probably those first two years. Um, so what, 
Would I do it over again? Would I do it differently? I don't know. Is is current my current situation getting my doctorate a regret? No, it's not a regret. I mean, it's first world problems. It's it's a pain in the rear. It sucks. It's school. It's supposed to suck. You know, the doctorate level education at any in any vocation is a lot of evidence a lot of research a lot of paper writing so it's a lot of things that unless you love it it really is it's just painful and that's what this is am i learning i sure am do i feel like it could be better absolutely so unfortunately my answer is and it will always be everyone's situation is different if you have the ability to stick with it and just get your doctorate right off the bat, I would probably recommend that. Because then, once you're, you're one and done, you don't have to worry about it ever again. It is the terminal, it is the final degree for a nurse practitioner, it is their doctorate. You can choose PhD or doctorate in nursing practice. That's a whole other conversation, but... I think if you have the ability, your life allows it to happen, you have the finances, the mean, the motive, and the ability, I would probably do it. I would probably get your doctorate and be done because many of my coworkers, that's what they did. And now they get to watch the old guy go back to school and get his doctorate and kind of sit back and chuckle because they've been there, done that. So yeah, that's my answer. Final answer, get your doctor.